Tachycardia, pulmonary edema, likely suspects. The death row guy? That's who you're working on instead of Cindy. God, I've got to learn not to beat around the bush. By dying, I meant no matter what we do, very, very soon she is going to be dead. That's still too subtle. I took an oath to do no harm. Yeah, well, it's not like they make you sign it or anything. We cure your patient. He goes back to death row. He goes back to death row. They kill him. He stays here and we don't treat him. He dies. And I still don't treat Cindy Lou Who. Can we get on with this? Yeah, anyone anyway, can count on your health, your homie. Exactly, I'm black. I sympathize with guys who grew up in the inner city kept down by the man. <laughs> Makes sense to me. It's a bunch of crap. You can't blame society for the fact that you chose to become a killer. The guy's probably a heroin addict. Explains the tachycardia, which caused the pulmonary edema. How's an inmate on death row get his hands on heroin? Are you serious? Man knows prisons. When we got a yachting question, we'll come to you. Okay, drugs it is. Test his hair, blood, urine, works. Thanks for getting my back. I thought you seminary boys were against the death penalty. I left the seminary. Over oh, their stance on capital punishment? I'm against the death penalty in principle. In practice, however, watching a murderer die causes me a lot less grief than annoying my boss. We better check you out before you go in. Department of Justice statistics show that it's a racially motivated form of punishment. Black defendants are 10 times more likely to get a death sentence than whites. It doesn't mean we need to get rid of the death penalty. It just means we need to kill more white people. <laughs> oh. It's okay, you're in a hospital. We'll take care of you. Just stay calm. You're going to be pushing me, young man. Water. Water. He drank some blood from your femoral artery. From my what? Runs through your groin. You think you're going to stick me in the jewels with that? It's really closer to your thigh. Technically, at this point, it seems like your jewels are more for display purposes anyway. Hold on, hold on. Give me some painkillers or something. A tough guy like you don't need them. And forget that numb me up, man. You got some gang ink? Let me see that. It's a Native American symbol. It means the force of life. <laughs> That's what you tell all these white dudes so they let you play doctor. I'm all fooled. For real, how a brother like you go from gangbanging to wearing that white coat? How's a brother like you go from loving a woman to punching her skull in? Bitch stepped out. Ah! Sorry about that. Guess I didn't use enough light. Blood gas came back with a pH of 7.28 and decreased HGO3, which means two things. Most importantly, Cameron was wrong about the bicarb. And less significantly, we have a new symptom. Anion gap acidosis. Who's chubby? Come on, pretend he loves puppies. Pretend he's a human being. What do you got? I think we should reconsider drugs. You already tested negative. That's why I said reconsider. Back in juvie, cut up oregano and sold this pot. Is that how you put yourself through med school? What if Clarence thought he was taking heroin, but it was something else? What something else could lead to anion gap acidosis? Mud piles. Well, you don't have to ask. Just wash your hands before you come back. Methanol, uremia, diabetes. Oh, it's a mnemonic. That makes sense, too. Formaldehyde, INH, lactic acid. Rewind. INH. Yahtzee. Trucks with tuberculosis. Nearly a quarter of the prison population is infected with TB. Clever entrepreneur like Foreman here. Chops up his meds, passes it off as heroin. INH poisoning would explain all the symptoms. Who wants to head over to the prison and find Clarence's secret stash? Fine, I'll do it. Great, Chase it is. I assume you have a reason beyond wanting to make me completely miserable? You got a prettier mouth. Better chance the inmates will open up to you. Brady Cardia, his heart rate's dropped to 30. It's not gonna hold on much longer. You're just waiting to call time of death, or you're gonna give him atropine? Temporary fix? Right. I don't know why those diabetics are all hung up on insulin. They're just gonna have to take more. Atropine's only gonna buy you a few hours. You don't even know what's wrong with us. Get out of here.
This is Chase. Did you beat any confessions out of anybody? I haven't spoken to any inmates. Does anybody do their jobs anymore? I decided Clarence's life isn't worth risking mine for. I appreciate your candor. Did you even go to the prison or are you just out playing polo? I'm searching both Clarence's cells. I figured if he's on something, it's stashed somewhere. Unless he finished it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a shame. You could have shoved it anywhere. There's envelopes stacked to the ceiling, bottles of copier toner, boxes of rubber bands, paper files, folders. Call it off. Come on back. knew how to drink. You're at least three shots behind. <sighs> now you're four shots behind. You better get me to the next one or I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> House. <laughs> I was just waiting for test results. I was... A little busy right now. Getting my drink on. Unbelievable. Oof. That's the finest piece I've seen in 10 years. I could have hit that. And you did. Bad. And you're the one that should be locked up. <laughs> Tell me something. I'd be trying to figure this out. Why does a guy who's on death row suddenly try to off himself? I know you drank that copier fluid. It's not as visually dramatic as slitting your wrist with a homemade shiv, but it'll do the trick. It just hit me all of a sudden. It was like they tell me when to eat, when to sleep, when to walk, when to talk, everything. I had to take control of something, right? When to die. I figured that was as good as anything. And that thought just came to you, just like that. Man, I told you, 23 hours of... Uh, well, look, here's the good news. The copy of fluids you drank contains about 90% methanol which is very poisonous, and you took more than enough to kill yourself. The bad news is, the alcohol you just drank contains so much ethanol that it's gonna bind that nasty formic acid rampaging through your body. Hence, you're just gonna pee it out harmlessly. <laughs> Man, you got drunk. Yes, I am. I also saved your life. <laughs> At least for now. <laughs> <laughs>